Today, we're going to look at D-Wave Quantum, a quantum annealing company that has been having an incredible year in 2025, including scientific breakthroughs. And now they're part of the Large Hadron Collider update. So we're going to look at that. We're going to read through that article. We're going to look at some of the press releases from D-Wave. We're going to take a look at them on the balance sheet and their stock as well. Now, I want to take a look at the article and go into this, but quantum and AI is definitely a topic that interests me a lot. We know that AI in data centers require a lot of power and a lot of energy to run. So what's very interesting about this article, and as we jump into it, we'll kind of see how the Large Hadron Collider is using annealing, is they're actually able to find solutions to problems with less energy. And I think that might be a theme that emerges more and more as these data centers are built out. There's going to need to be solutions. So let's jump in. When quantum and AI collide, I mean, we've already won. What a cool article title. Researchers from Triumph Perimeter Institute and National Research Council of Canada are the first to use annealing quantum computing and deep generative AI to create simulations that are fast, accurate, and computationally efficient. Why are simulations essential for collider physics? Simulations broadly assist collider physics research in two ways. First, researchers use them to statistically match observed data to theoretical models. Second, scientists use simulated data to help optimize the design of the data analysis, for instance, by isolating the signal they are studying from irrelevant background events. Simulations are projected to cost millions of CPU years annually when the high luminosity LHC turns on says Javier Toledo Marin, a research scientist jointly appointed at Perimeter Institute. It's financially and environmentally unsustainable to keep doing business as usual. When quantum and generative AI collide, particle physicists use specialized detectors called calorimeters to measure the energy released by the shower of particles that results from collisions. Scientists combine the readings from these and other detectors to piece together what happened at the initial collision. Fedorko and team are the only ones so far to take a full-scale quantum approach, thanks to an assist from D-Wave Quantum's annealing quantum computing technology. Annealing quantum computing is a process that is usually used to find the lowest energy state for a system or a state near to the lowest energy one, which is useful for problems involving optimization. After discussing with D-Wave, Fedorko, Toledo, Marin, and the rest of the team determined that D-Wave's annealing quantum computers could be used for simulation generation. You just need to use annealing to manipulate qubits, the smallest bits of quantum information, in an unconventional way. With the help of D-Wave, the team realized that they could use this mechanism to instead guarantee outcomes for a subset of qubits on the device. We basically hijacked that mechanism to fix in place some of the spins. This mechanism can be used to condition the processor. For example, generate showers with specific desired properties, like the energy of a particle impinging on the calorimeter. The end result, an unconventional way to use annealing quantum computing to generate high quality synthetic data for analyzing particle collisions. They talk about how the unique combination of several factors gives them speed, accuracy, and less energy consumption. They talk about a standard graphics processing unit GPU, by contrast, will increase its energy use for each job it receives. As advanced GPUs become more and more power hungry, QPUs, by contrast, can potentially scale without leading to increasing computational energy requirements. It's a good example of being able to scale something in the field of quantum machine learning to something practical that can potentially be deployed. So this is really meaningful for D-Wave machines as they are being used in a place where we're looking for, literally we're colliding particles and we're at the cutting edge of science in the Large Hadron Collider and D-Wave systems are there to find the lowest energy state and they're using the system creatively. So very, very, Interesting, and also the the connection between AI and quantum. I think as AI is accelerating, we're going we are definitely going to see how AI and quantum is going to become more and more of a theme. In fact, of all the things that interest me about quantum at this moment, I'm super interested in how 
AI, and quantum will work together. The year for D-Wave has been phenomenal. They just finished their $400 million at the market equity offering, which puts them in a cash position of almost a billion dollars. Just six months ago, they had less than like 70 million. They were, they have very much increased their cash position. They have their computer now at Yonsei University and they have a computer in Alabama. They also have one in ULIC. So they have their Advantage 2 or Advantage system installed in different locations around the world. Not so long ago on May 20th, D-Wave had announced the general availability of Advantage 2, its most advanced and performant system. D-Wave and Davidson completed an installation in Alabama's first on-site annealing quantum computer. And if we look at the politicians that are in Alabama, they were very excited to have D-Wave's machine and to be on the cutting edge of technology. Japan Tobacco and D-Wave announced quantum proof of concept, which outperforms classical results for LLM training in drug discovery. So using large language models in quantum for drug discovery, very, very cool. And of course, the crown jewel of the year on March 12th, 2025, D-Wave announced its quantum supremacy on a useful real world problem. And the distinction between their announcement and the importance of it is they actually were able to apply their machine to a real world problem that would take a classical computer millions of years to solve and they were able to solve it with their machines. This was a landmark peer-reviewed paper published in Science called Beyond Classical Computation and Quantum Simulation, and it validates D-Wave's achievements of the world's first and only demonstration of quantum computational supremacy on a useful real-world problem. The computer performed a magnetic materials simulation in minutes that would take nearly 1 million years and more than the world's annual electricity consumption to solve using a classical supercomputer. D-Wave is a publicly traded company. And so far, since October of last year, the company has increased the stock price by almost 1,700%. Lots of quantum computer companies have increased their stock price. And D-Wave has been in business for a long time. D-Wave was founded in 1999. So they've been around for 26 years, but 2025 has been a special year for D-Wave. A cross-Canada team of researchers has brought quantum and generative AI together to prepare for the Large Hadron Collider's next upgrade. And guess what computer is going to be part of that? D-Wave's annealing machine. I think we'll end the video there, but what this shows is that there are new and innovative ways to approach complex problems that may be out of reach of classical computing. So GPUs and CPUs, as amazing as we've made them over the last decades of research and improvement, they require a lot of energy to run. They're expensive, and we just might have some optimization and speed up with quantum computing coming up soon. All right, thank you for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.